Muslim man forced to, to say Jai Shri Ram, then murdered in alleged hate crime in India. A cab driver, Aftab Amal, was found dead in his car while coming home after dropping off a passenger in Uttar Pradesh, India. His family alleged that he was made to chant Jai Shri Ram, which is the rallying cry of violent Hindutva action, before he was killed by some passengers who he had picked up in the Uttar Pradesh town on his way back home. Mr. Amal picked up three people, and at some point during the drive, Mr. Amal called his son using his mobile phone. His son is quoted as saying, Papa must have felt these people were no good, so he rang me and kept his phone aside in the car. Seven to eight minutes into the call, they, heard, they are heard telling Papa to chant Jai Shri Ram, which he did. Which he did. They made him stop the car, then killed him. They did not loot him. The wallet was not stolen. End quote. The police have denied any communal angle in the death of the 45-year-old cab driver, Aftab Amal. So Jai Shiram is kind of like the Allah Akbar version of the Hindus? What does, it, yeah. what does it mean? Uh, Jai Shiram? I believe it's something like glory to Ram, um, which is the Hindu god. Um, so they made, they forced the Muslim guy to say um, to praise the Hindu god, and he did. It but means they still glory to Lord Ram, or Ram. Glory to glory to uh, Lord Ram. He did, but they still killed him. Mm -hmm. And they didn't steal anything. So why is why is the police denying that the murder is a hate crime? Um, so I've had. A few, because um, when we publish the news, you know, the sources are down below what we will cover. So a few ex-Hindu fans reached out to me with their feedback on this and their commentary. So um, some people said they chanted Jai Shri Ram. That is the Hindu version of Allahu Akbar. Um, it happened in the national capital region. The police there are B BJP controlled. So we're not surprised that they are trying to underplay this incident um, because... Uh, the BJP, for people who don't know, is like the Hindutva far right religious um, authoritarian. I know a lot of people are getting triggered by me just saying that government in India, which is very like pro Hindu, pro Hinduism. Right? So they're saying like they were downplaying that they downplay when it, whenever there's a Hindu on Muslim attack, they try to downplay it. That's what you're saying. Mm hmm. So um, they're also saying uh, Indian cops cannot be trusted for the most part. Um, there's also mob violence that is funded by the B BJP and RSS, which is, again, Hindu nationalism, sometimes ethno-nationalism. Um, da, 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 da. It is a supremacist crime by the Hindus. It's very common nowadays. Um, um Cops yeah, but, to arrest people for criticizing the government itself. And while the courts say that it is not a crime, the police followed the Hindu nationalist government, not the law particularly. I just want to make one comment. So, yeah, it can mean glory to Lord Ram, but it also has this victory to Lord Ram connotation to it as well, which does make it kind of a la Akbari because it in the sense that people often shout that before they do something that they think is for the glory of their religion, their God, whichever. And there's a redemption thing that sometimes happens with that, those kind of crimes as well. So it could be both, you know, not just the glory, but also the victory in terms of doing something so much, to a like, Muslim guy. It has, it has so many different uses and most of the uses are as, Exactly how Allah Akbar is used. Like this is literally Allah Akbar of the Hindus. But, uh, but did I miss this part? Do we know why, why this why this Muslim guy was targeted? Susanna, you wanna... Um, there's nothing that is clear about why he specifically was targeted. It might just be might um just be kind of an incident of they took advantage of a situation that they happen to come across now so the son recorded the call that his dad um sent to him and um it was 40 minutes 40 minutes of this call and um so one of the reasons why the police is saying 
supposedly that this is not a hate crime is that because oh well they made him chant Jai Shri Ram like earlier and then they went so much longer into the call and nothing happened right like nothing happened it's not like they made him chant Jai Shri Ram and he was killed immediately no like it, it happened and then the call went on and then and then it happened later um except there's nothing that would help explain why he was killed in general the police are saying that it's because of a quarrel over fare over paying for the cab um it it's it's really it's really sad some accounts say that he was found with his body tied to the side of the car um the son says that what he was listening to on the phone the audio which of which was made available to the news source that i was writing this from um says that the men in on in the cab sounded drunk so speculation on my part is that there were a bunch of drunk guys who took advantage of a situation Hmm. this man was isolated in his car as their driver and they took advantage of and the, the situation to- and they had some anti-muslim hatred and they were drunk and they just went with it right uh, but with shri is in the shri is in the live chat is saying for hindu for people every muslim is anti-india and if you can't chant jai shri, jai shri ram or any other chant that can be associated with Hinduism, then you can't be loyal to India. But he did. The guy, the guy, poor guy, did chant Jai Shiram. And also, again, not hashtag not all Hindutva, not all Hindutva. Okay, uh, Rivka. Well, I wanted to say that um, you know it could have also been a fair involved in it too. You don't know what because a lot most crimes are crimes of opportunity. It's opportunity. If they have the opportunity, so they could have been imbibing, they could have been upset about the fair, they could have been looking for this opportunity, they could just be bigots, or all mm. of the above. Because I noticed that a lot of times that's when a lot of crimes happen, is when people have the opportunity. But mm. it's really sad that his son had to hear it, and I find it interesting that that cell phone uh, recording doesn't seem to play at all into the police, uh, you know, investigation into the incident. Well, it does. They used that call to dismiss it as a hate crime. Oh, because of the beginning and the end. But then you can mm-hmm. hear at the end where he says he's not breathing, and so it's just murder and not hate crime murder. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, of the distance between the two, th- it was so weird. Anyways, um, but. Yeah, for people that think it doesn't matter, I mean, it does matter. The severity of the punishment will be different if it's a hate crime, right? So I think. Um, But anyways, um, should we... Oh, I just wanted to add one quote from his son. He says, "Um, we are Muslims, but we have the right to live. How severe is the situation that your identity is preceded by, but we have the right Mm -hmm. to live? Right. Right. That speaks to the attitude that they're surrounded by. That was poignant to me. That stuck out to me. Um, Kabir and- in the Kabir in the live chat keeps asking, are we taking questions? We might if it's about exactly what we're talking about. OK, mm-hmm. but we're going to the next news. So we're not getting. We're go- oh, Christy is here. Yay, Christy. Christy hi. We miss you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So no news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're if you not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You may, we think is no, and oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff, we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. So, like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic, and YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So, to solve that. Link, there's a link in the description. 
uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 